All right, today we're working with Excel instead of Report Builder. So we are in the uh, desktop client, Fit Client. We're going to look at three things. Number one is pre-built analysis services hierarchy performance versus a dynamic hierarchy within a pivot table. So we're going to do the exact same metric. Once, one time we're going to use our pre-built Northcraft Analytics hierarchies, and then we're going to build the same exact query but with a dynamic hierarchy in uh, pivot table number two. Then number two, we're going to show you how to expand collapse groups when you don't use uh, an out-of-the-box hierarchy. And number three, we're going to show you how to do percentage of grand total for any of our incident count metrics, and, we're, and you're going to be able to do it quickly. So this is the uh, set of metrics we're talking about, the incident count. Okay, so we're going to start with the analysis services query performance, and this is one of the advantages of using the multi-dimensional BI application. Uh, so we just simply click on the hierarchy, that drops it in, and the hierarchy includes assigned support organization, assigned group, assignee, and incident number. Now that is definitely, those are remedy fields. This is uh, not exactly the same for ServiceNow or HP Service Manager, they're different fields, so uh, it would look different there. Okay, so now we're going to go into our, we're going to build this hierarchy in our pivot table directly to the right of our first one. So I'm not going to use this hi assignee hierarchy. We're going to say, let's see, I want assigned support organization as my first level in the group. And then I want assigned group. And then I want assignee. And you'll notice now, this is where it's going to take a little bit longer, actually quite a bit longer. I drag in incident number. So um, you'll notice that this OLAP query is running and I'm actually going to stop it because it will probably take about 45 seconds to a minute to run. Now, another issue here with using these hierarchies on the fly is that when you want to drill down to the final level of detail, um, you're bringing back tens of thousands of records. And it's, it's, it's actually using your client's memory, your client's memory. So if you're using a laptop, you're actually constrained by how many um, gigabytes of memory you have. Whereas these hierarchies are uh, calculated on the analysis services server on the left. So we're going to stop it. You hit the escape key, you'll notice to stop it. And then uh, the next thing we're going to show you is how to expand and collapse the groups when you don't use a hierarchy. What you need to do is right click on the group and then go to expand collapse collapse entire field, and there you go. Now we have exactly the same query in a, uh, you know, a dynamic hierarchy on the right, and on the left, our pre-built analysis services hierarchy. Third thing we're going to do is, let me sort these, okay, right-click, sort, largest to smallest. We want to show you how that you can do a percentage of grand total um, to these counts. So it's going to do the percentage of this group's um, closed incidents, percentage of that grand total. So I just simply right click, um, choose show values as percent of grand total, and there we go. Pretty simple. Um, so we can see that this particular group does the bulk of the work for this IT organization. Thank you for your time today, and let us know. If